All right. <clears throat> Don Beck, one more time. Uh, better stay kind of close to the mic because I'm still not getting enough volume. Let me get here on the Cam 4 and desktop again. I think this is about the, pretty much the best spot for, uh, yeah, you don't want to go any lower. Check. Of course, that'll, if you raise the volume on this, then that'll go up. But uh, every, every uh, sound card that you use has a sweet spot to where it's not too, not too hot and not too cold. Not too loud, not too soft. Uh, without just you know, you do, you want a good hot signal, but you don't want it distorted, of course. And if you have too much input uh, gain volume, they call it volume on there, uh, <clears throat> then uh, it distorts so easy that you know any change. Like if you just get a little bit louder, it's distorted like crazy. Uh, that's why it's so hard to get good sound on your computer. I did it for years before I got my. I had this thing. I never did. It, it's really very complicated to set up because uh, you have to remember punch this button twice and do this and do that and do this. And I can never. I remember it when if I was messing with it a lot. Then I could remember it for you know a couple of weeks, maybe a month, and that's it. It's been years since I and and that this compressor in this thing is nothing fancy. You can't. Uh, from what I remember, I do, you can't even change. Let me look at this. Maybe I'm remembering. Um, yeah, you just select, select compressor, and then you've got a reverb adjustment, and you got an overall effects adjustment. But what I'm using is a, and a oh, I got my head turned. Uh, let me for the group. Check one, two, check, 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 check. Okay, I'll switch to the. I'm on the Bluetooth now. Um, so the things you can do on the front, yeah, you can do them quick. But the setting this particular, this is really a guitar fix. Uh, and I, I, well, I wanted it for my guitar, uh, <clears throat> but um, I also wanted one. Uh, uh, the reason I chose this particular one was because uh, it, it's made for recording. That's one of the, one of the reasons. But um, And I'm not a guitar player. I just play with the guitar. But I wanted to learn, and I wanted to really get into it back then. 01 or 02 when I've got this and uh, <clears throat> so anyway uh, <coughs> and uh, I got to where I could mess around a little bit the in intro and out exit music is stuff I recorded back then with my guitar and this this effects unit <coughs> but uh, um, so anyway you, you can choose one of all these different you can't choose a you can build, well, I can't remember. You can build, see, you've got A, B, C, D, E, and you can build your own effects, and I did do that Well, for this. That way, when I hit A, I get this, this setup. And uh, But anyway, you have to punch the right buttons and hold them down this way and that way and get into the, to be able to even select when you go to, uh, like I said, it's on compressor, and it also has reverb. You can adjust how much reverb. Um, and the, the second parameter, uh, effects second parameter, I forgot what that does now, but I've, I've had this set for years. And where, where it is, it's in amps, tube preamp, custom clean, that's what I'm using. And, you know, it's got EQ, it's got three bands, EQ and, and gain, and it also has a volume, and then it has a master volume. So it's in the volume is for that effect. And I just knocked my remote off and to my boot so um, anyway you, you what you get is the choice is when you want to use compressor this you when you want to use compression noise gate and a little reverb it's it's a preset that you can adjust on but from what I do not remember I remember going round and round trying to well, why can't I change the compression ratio why doesn't it show it why can't I change it I don't know but that there's a way to do it unless when I first got this thing, now I set this up about three years ago for this recording, you know. Actually, I set it up before I got the, <clears throat> the mixer, and I would just go my mic straight into here, but it was hard to get enough uh, gain, output gain, because I had to, uh, you know, SM58s are low impedance uh, they, mics, and so I had to use a low to high impedance, and you lose a bunch of your signal strength when you do that, but I would have it plugged in 
right here where this cable coming from the uh, from the mixer to it. Now I've got a new cable that I'm going to try out, uh, but I was going to just go ahead and do that in the video. That's why I'm making sure I have my Wi-Fi mic working and everything, <clears throat> so I can still talk while I'm doing it. <clears throat> anyway, am I recording now? Yeah, I'm recording. Okay, so what I want to do then is. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I can tell now. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna try to use the second compression presser inside of OBS because that's just knocking the signal down too much. That was complicating the problem, but it wasn't the whole problem because when I have, uh, even when I have this one, it, it is a little hotter. Even though it doesn't look like it on the signal, uh, you can hardly tell it on the OBS uh, meters. And those meters are nothing like as accurate as the old-fashioned analog uh, meters. Uh, even when they started putting the blinky lights on the mixers instead of, you know, they meter uh, mixers, good mixers back in the back in the good old days had actual real analog meters, and you could watch you could watch them, and that's the kind of thing. Well, I really learned on, uh, I did learn on the Mackies when uh, when they had the blinky lights. Now this one here. It doesn't show any kind of signal on the mains because I've got it down so low. That's the way I had to do it to get it to gain structure to work out. If I put the mains on Unity and then go from there, then it just sorts everything too easy, you know. Even going through the compressor on here and everything. So, uh, but if you were going straight to a computer, you you could never have that output that hot. And if you get it on Unity, you'll get a signal. I think you got to get it way past Unity to get a real readable signal. So they're very these these little blinky light meters are very inaccurate. They're not giving you the actual decibels. I've mixed enough years to know, <clears throat> you know, when something's measuring good and when it's not. But by between listening, you know, to what you're getting and everything, you got when you when you know your gear and what it does, you you can. Uh, you don't need light. You don't need blinky lights or, or BU meters anyway. So. Uh, once you get to know your year, <clears throat> but anyway, so I still I don't know exactly where my master is, but uh, because I've been adjusting around on it, that's one reason why I like leaving it up all the way. That way, if you ever want to make sure everything's still like you left it, you just turn that one up all the way, and, and it wasn't making noise, so that was good. But then I started realizing it wasn't so much making background noise, but it was causing the compressor to make noise when it was uh, cutting in and out, and. Uh, so, what I want to, and, and so what I'm, my condition I've got now is I just don't have a hot enough signal. And I could, I, well, I could put my channels on Unity and then turn the master up some. That's another thing I could do. Uh, but they really don't need to be in the same place anyway, so, and I'm not having to go up far enough past Unity to make noise, so. Uh, if you're getting, if you if you bring gain your channels too much, depending on how quiet your pots are, you know, on your mixer, you're gonna you, you're gonna get noise. And this one will get noise when you get about three o'clock and above. You're gonna get some, you're probably gonna get a little hiss, depending on the mic you're using and stuff. But so I stay out of that region, uh, stay below that. But anyway, that turned out to be for my setup. Turned out, and it's, this is all subjective to my setup and the, what I'm using together. But if you know, learn the, the principles of how things work, then you can do it on other things too. <clears throat> but it can take a lot of time. I've just been doing this for, oh, well, I, well, I would see. When did I start making the, let me look over here on the, I've already made one, two, three, four, five tests. I was just going to make, I thought I'd just be able to make one test and start my stream, and I was going to go in the, Kind of going over this kind of stuff, but not. I didn't expect to get in this in, in depth. But that was 9:28, and it's 10:44 now on the clock up here on the computer. Um, so um, um, what I figure, what I boil down to now is. <clears throat> I really was kind of worried about backing off too much on this main. I didn't want to weaken this signal too much, but 
<laughs> I'm going to need to gain this the board some more in order to trip this this compressor right, the way it should be, you know, the way what well, used to work. And so I'm going to I think I'll get over here and put this uh, I'm going to have both mics on, I guess for a minute. And I'm going to put it up here where I always. I'm just going to go ahead and put it where I used to always use it. It's going to get some. It's going to get some real bad delay now. Okay. Now I'll go back to the. Go back to the SM58. Now, um, this is this will be too hot, I believe. Check one, two. Huh, the compressor's working pretty good now. It, it, so, see, I was so low on my signal, I was fighting myself for no reason. Check one, two. Okay, let's try the other. I don't see it. Check one, two. Check one, two. I guess I was down below where the compressor was doing very much. Because it's actually doing better now um, than it was before. <laughs> I'm I'm what pat way past. I'm at like two o'clock, and I was at twelve o'clock. Unity is twelve o'clock. I may not need to adjust that. Check one two. I think it's 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 working like a real like a compressor. Check one two. Check. So I was fooling myself. I was scared to go there. No, it did. It went up there and bumped the red. I don't know exactly where I'm at, though. Let's see. I think I'm pretty much right on. Well, I was a little bit below it. <clears throat> but yeah, see that uh, all this time here where my. When I, if I wasn't talking good and loud and clear, then you couldn't understand, couldn't hear me, you know? Uh, that was because of that, uh, because I had my gain structure already. Well, I had. It's not the same because this is not up all the way anymore. This main output, master they call it. But uh, like I said, I had to readjust it. So I was thinking, okay, I'll turn these up and then back it off some. But now I'm like, well, do I really need to? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to back it up. I was fixing to shut down this video and go listen to it, but it's not that hard to adjust this thing. All right, check one, two. Check one, two. Now that looks where I want it, at least for the 58. Check one, two. It's not tripping the red even when I do that. See, that sudden clacking your tongue sound, well, that, you know, there's a lot of, there's different ways you could simulate, you know. I mean, like when you're doing a band and all that and you're not worried about making a bunch of noise, you can, you can do, I used to do that. That's just something I learned for myself. And I'd whistle, you whistle into it, um, in the, into the mic and yell, you know. I mean, like if you're set up for a, a grindcore band, uh, I did a bunch of them, you know, uh, Christian hard rock and uh, Christian grindcore, hard rock, metal, punk bands. Uh, <clears throat> you can just kind of do something along the same level as what they, they're going to be doing, you know, to, to get it set up to where it's going to handle it. But, uh, so let's try, check one, two, check, check, check. Now let's put this one in the same place. I can't move around there without moving that mic. Check one, two. That's exactly, yeah, about two o'clock, I guess you'd say, <clears throat> exactly where the other one was. Now that's too much for that mic. Check one, two. But I can see the compressor working. Doesn't actually. When I clack my tongue, if I don't get the exact same volume and tone, then it won't. It won't clip it. Check, check, check. Actually, that's good. Check one, two. I would actually love it if um, if I could uh, end up with my mics. If they're both, um, if I, if they were both on Unity, I can tell where it is without getting down there and looking at it like that. But 
I can't I can't hit that two o'clock spot very good. I can't see it without hovering over it and getting the light on it, magnifying glass and the light. And so I can't uh, I can't feel that one out. That's why I love sliders and can't stand a knob on a mixer like that. You can tell where you're at on a slider, uh, even in a very low light, you know, of a concert. Uh, uh, and again, I'm real hesitant to mess around with my ma main out because I spent day, you know, hours and hours, a couple of three days when I first got this thing, messing with that, trying to, because I really wanted it on Unity. And uh, this thing actually, the, the main output makes got more noise in it than the, the channels. So if I get up there, if I get up there to Unity, it doesn't make noise. Uh, well, it depends on what the input is. But it's so much more likely to make noise in the signal when I get up to Unity and, and past. I wouldn't even dare go at 2 o'clock. Maybe 2. You might get to 2. But then then that's, uh, then you're gonna, if, if you get this on Unity, then these are like barely on. And then you have the, another, the same problem with a weak signal. But it, some gain structure. That, that's gain. This is gain structure. So anyway, and like I said, it's different from every uh, every mixer. I imagine it's probably a little different between every. This is an 802, uh, Xenix 802, Behringer Xenix 802, and I'm sure it's a little bit different from each one of them. But uh, then, you know, going through the, the VM2, the Behringer VM2, and then the setting, the, the comp what I have in it that I'm using out of it, and then the wiring computer it's going into the sound card in the computer that's that see I'm changing to a different sound card this USB sound card instead of the one that was in the uh, Lenovo i5 it's on board you know um, it's really been throwing me in circles to hit the hit that right sweet spot with the gain structure and everything so uh, <clears throat> um, I've gotten some pretty good uh, well there's one thing that's been going on ever since I started using this setup uh, and that is my, I noticed the SM58, uh, you know, me, when I don't talk very loud, I'm, I'm gone. You know, you can't understand what I'm saying. I'm there, but you can't understand what I'm saying. And it's actually the SM58 seems, I'm not sure what's going on with that because it seems a little more boomy. I like it to be warm and, and I like some low end, but I don't, it doesn't need to be boomy. But it generally does it if I get a little loud or get closer. And, of course, you're always moving. You, you can't just sit perfectly still. <clears throat> but, uh, And that's the other thing. If you don't have your mic gained enough on this channel, then when you do move, it's a huge loss in volume. So, uh, But I can move, you know, I can move like this, and it's probably, right now, it should be fairly okay. Looks like it is on the, uh, on the input level. But a minute ago, if I moved like this, you just you wouldn't even hear understand what I was saying. So let's see what this gives us. Uh, and and I, if this doesn't get it right, then I will just I may put these channels at Unity, and I've already done that, and I never got it to work. But put these channels at Unity, and the and the main uh, output, bring it on up until it seems to work. Uh, but I really think I found the sweet spot for this mixer and this setup at, at right where it is. And it's, it's at, uh, what would that be? 9, 10 o'clock, whatever, 10, 11, 12. I guess it would be 10 o'clock. Yeah, about 10 o'clock. <clears throat> and it is 10.53 a.m. All right, so let's um, listen back. i got to listen back to this one and see what I got. 